first thing that's been around for a long time is a system where you have pores from one binary coded with a, with a magnetic ring to seven. So this is a one, this is a seven, and everything in between has got like numbered. So what you're doing is you take your drink menu and then you break it down by prices and everything that has the same price gets the same kind of top on the bottle. So with that being said, the poorest, why are our poor especially good? It's like first they're very durable. So we've been in the business for 35 years. So we've learned our lessons and the poorest, they definitely don't break off. The caps don't fall off. Yeah, the, you can reuse the plastic cork a million times without it totally being torn apart. And then another thing that is like, we've got these ones got a gray cap just simply for the reason that to mark them apart from the traditional ones because these are already about 15, 20% faster than the ones that you might have bought like 10 years ago. So these are already a bit faster. They got a faster cap that is streamlined when the liquid comes out. Another thing that is different than from Puros you might have seen elsewhere is this breezer here. So you see it's got a, like a bulb shape and opposed to the traditional breezer that is something like this. The reason for that bulb is when you have a full bottle and you put the Pura inside, then uh, the breezer will be inside the liquid. And from temperature differences, sometimes in the bottle, there will be a big amount of overpressure. So pushing the liquid up in the breezer tube. And when you have the breezer tube full of liquid, then the first portion will short pour because the air has a hard time getting in. That's why we came up with this idea. It's like this, bre uh, this breezer will only go inside the liquid up until here, and then there's enough place for the air to go around the liquid that might be inside. So you've got perfect pours right from the start instead of the first from a bottle always short pouring. Brand IBD pourers, you see it's the same type of pourer with a bulky, it's like everything looks the same, but it does not have the magnetic rings. Instead of the magnetic rings that are binary poured and coded and that are only providing seven different categories, this has a transponder chip that is glued inside here in this case. And with that transponder chip, we are we have in our software the possibility to program up to 128 groups, which of course are then not groups anymore, but would be separate brands. So you could have like 128 different brands that are identified to the system by the transponder on the respective pourer. So every time you pour a drink, you will know exactly what it is. It's not like with other system, a drink that costs $2, and then in the end, when you get your report, it just gives you an amount of money that you should have been making. It will tell you exactly like so much Jack Daniels, so much Jim Beam, so much Bacardi, so much Belvedere vodka, so much Grey Goose vodka, you name it. So you have uh, a lot of possibilities to work with that system. That since most of our systems are integrated to POS system, it makes a big difference that you can have a very detailed report on everything, and it really helps your inventory and it helps you determine what drinks you need to buy, for example, what is what you're out of stock. Like all this information can then in a software be used for further purposes. Another poor that I want to be talking to you about is uh, the extra fast poor. Like it is, this is a brand ID one here. The, the, um, the chip is not inside of the, uh, of the liquid flow. It is on the side. That's why it's constructed a little different. And the bore, if you compare it, is much larger. So this is actually 60% faster than the old fast pour. So this was already fast, but this is yet 60% uh, faster than the old one. And of course, it can be fitted with a bulky kind of breather also versus these narrow old ones.